In our clinical experience, the muscle weakness of the deepest, deepest darkest deep. layers of the neck is something that almost every person with any kind of neck problem has. And there are also lots of scientific studies that tell the same story. Luckily, this can be fixed if you know what you're doing. And of course, after watching this video, you will know how to do it by using these two exercises. Like I mentioned before, there are lots of scientific studies that reference this very phenomenon we are discussing. For example, Romeo and his fellow researchers go over different studies that show that when there is neck pain, there is also the possibility of structural and functional changes in this muscle. Parazide all, hopefully I pronounced this correctly, go over different studies showing a link between the dysfunction of these deep neck muscles in whiplash and headaches caused by neck problems. They also note that there might be problems with the accuracy of the neck and head movements. So for example, you think you move like this, but in fact you are moving like this. So what does this muscle weakness actually cause? Well, for one, neck and head posture is a lot more difficult to maintain, especially for longer periods of time. This is because the muscles get tired a lot more difficult. Oh, this is because the muscles get easily tired. Also, when these postural, deep, slow twitching muscles don't work, the more superficial partner muscles need to start compensating. This, of course, leads to them getting tired and stiff and this can be felt as pain or this gnawing discomfort. As the neck posture and head posture changes, this can also put some unnecessary strain and tension to the nerves near the neck, and this can be also felt as symptoms in the hands like numbness, pain, tingling, for example. If you want to know if your deep neck flexor muscles are working like they should or not, then do this following quick test. Lie on your back and do a slight nod. Lift your head up and take time off your performance. Keep the head in the position without chin poking, lowering of the head towards the floor or pain slash discomfort behind the neck. If you want to do this test right now, then pause the video and continue after that or use the chapters below to skip and scroll and teleport around in time and space. If you are male, you should be able to do this test for 40 seconds. And if you are a female, then you should be able to do it for 30 seconds. But in my humble professional opinion, you should probably aim even higher than this. Because let's be real, this is just lifting your head up the floor. You're not doing anything that special really. So aim for one minute just to be safe. This test has been shown to have correlation between neck disability and symptoms. Also, chronic neck pain patients have been shown to have lower endurance in this test. So it's a good one to use when you want to know if you need to use this following awesome exercises. First task is to learn how to activate the muscle. It's common that the superficial layers of muscles get the workload of these lazy bastards that don't work. So we need to make the superficial ones chill and learn how to use the deeper layers. Lay on the floor or something and place your fingers on the superficial muscles of the neck. There should be no feeling of muscle contraction against your fingers in this exercise. If there is, these superficial bad boys are active again and the deeper layers are not so much. Next, do a small nod and hold it. Remember to keep your teeth together, but not clenched. Also, look down by only moving your eyes, as this has been shown to improve the activation of the deeper layers. If you feel no muscle contraction against your fingers, you are doing this exercise correctly. Hold the contraction for 10 seconds and relax. Repeat this 10 to 20 times, and you can do this every day and and even multiple times per day to awaken these sleeping beauties. Do this for two to four weeks and move on to the next exercise. The second task is to start using the deep muscles in total harmony with the overactive superficial ones. 
so the workouts start to increase in challenge. Do the nod again and then lift your head off the surface for about 3 centimeters, approximately 1 inch. Hold this position for 6 to 10 seconds and repeat 6 to 10 times. You can do this exercise every day for 3 to 6 weeks depending on your starting point. The faults in this exercise are as follows. Your chin starts to poke, indicating that the superficial muscles are dominating again. Next mistake is lowering of the head, which indicates weakness. And lastly, there could be pain or discomfort behind the neck, which indicates faulty movement pattern. You should only feel the muscles working on the front of your neck. If you feel any of these things, this exercise is probably too hard for you, but luckily we can make it easier for you. Place the fingers of your hands behind your skull. With these fingers you aid the movements as needed by supporting a part of the weight of your head with the fingers. Aid only as much as you need in order to make the technique perfect. As you get stronger, use less and less assistance with the fingers until you can do it without any aid. And when you can do it for the 60 second holds with the pitch perfect technique, you know that you are done with this exercise. Good job! In addition to these exercises, fixing neck problems often require doing some other stuff as well, such as releasing muscle tension and mobilizing tight neck structures that limit your freedoms. <laughs> Click the video somewhere around here, transport yourself to that video and learn how to do that. Now you have reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way through and see you again on the next ones or something. Bye bye! <laughs>